peeps, you ready to read? This is written by E.G. White. The verse for today is John 8, 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The transforming influence of truth sanctifies the soul. The love of God flows into the soul, and gratitude springs up in the heart that was as cold as stone. Christ crucified, Christ our righteousness, wins the hearts and brings it to repentance. This theme is so simple that children can grasp it. The wise and the learned are charmed with it, while they behold it in its depths of wisdom, love, and power which can never be fathomed. We want to present this precious truth to the people who are bound to sin. Let us see that Christ was slain for their transgressions, that he desires to save them. We should be pervaded with a deep abiding sense of the value, sanctity, and authority of the truth. But Satan is concentrating all his energies to bend your will to his, to make you his agent in opposing the plans of Christ, that you may refuse to have Jesus reign over you. Satan will seek to draw you away from Christ, that you may become his agent in drawing others away, and thus frustrate the plans of God. He is the father of lies, and he weaves a net of falsehood in which he binds you with cords of lies to his service. The more intelligent you are, the more attractive, the harder he will work that he may persuade you to lay your talents at his feet and aid him to accomplish his ends in alluring others under his black banner. Satan is the bewitcher and he has wrought that Christ may be expelled from the soul and that he himself may be there enthroned. I beg you, sons and daughters, to break from the infatuation of the evil one. Flee to Jesus as your refuge and lay hold upon eternal life. It's obvious what that's good for. Um, it's, there's so many things in this world that are tempting and so tempting to draw you away. And when things don't good go good for you, especially in my case, if things aren't going the way I think they should or they are going poorly, which it's done considerably throughout my life, I it isn't that I blame Jesus, but I get discouraged in, you know, that little bit of Satan jumps in there. Ooh, I've got her, I've got her, I've got her. Don't let that happen. Just don't let it happen. I'm bringing out my books, peeps. Good morning, Heavenly Father. We're so grateful that you're there and that your son died for us. Please teach me how to keep Satan and his minions away and out of my life forever. I'm lifting out my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones that aren't in the book. You know their needs and their loves and wishes and wants. Teach them also how to keep Satan and his minions away from their lives so that they may let Jesus enter and give them eternal life. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.